Go ahead. Well, the hospital experience was, it was like mayhem the whole time. There was five people uh, in there. Like, there was a lot of yelling. There was a lot, like, a lot of just moving around. Oh, everybody it was very hectic. Um, and they were a lot, a lot of orders. Do this, do that, go over here, better make through this. There, there, there was all that going on. Um, then the fact is, we we were trying to do uh, natural, and when they came in, they said, "Hey, we could take this away right now." Of course, she's going to take it. So she ended up taking uh, the epidural, which she didn't want to do and regretted doing right after. But in that moment, you know, it hurts and then so bad. yeah, and then it, it hurts just, bad. <laughs> the fact here it was just, I mean, just how light it was. It was like there was no problem. There was no stress. There was, even when she was panicking, you, you know, just your guidance and, you know, yeah. oh, no, it's nothing wrong. You're good. You're fine. It was so calm. It took, in what, an hour to do it? I mean, once, once it really started? To push? Yeah. 30 she minutes. 30 minutes. And it would have been 10. And with but no... she was blowing. She wasn't pushing. Her yeah. body was pushing. Yeah. But she was trying to avoid it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, n literally no blood. The hospital was like a slaughterhouse. It was there was blood <laughs> everywhere. There they had to. There was lots of stitches and surgery after it. It was, uh, I mean, just the, the way that she is. I mean, you know, Jobus was screaming. He was freezing. They had to put him on that machine. Remember that? They they put him on that thing. We couldn't touch him. He had to lay there for five minutes, and he was just screaming all by himself. It was it was gut wrenching. The whole experience was gut wrenching. Yeah, I couldn't take it. And this was, I mean, she, she was with Meryl the second after she was born, and then pretty much the whole time. I mean, out, outside of a couple moments, well, it's, I, it's just the whole Well, and I can tell experience. you, too, like, just from a bonding perspective, it's weird when you have an epidural because you don't really feel like you just had a kid. I didn't, I mean, they put Jovis on my, uh, on my chest, I was like, um, who's this? <laughs> I had yeah, no was, idea. And, and he, it took me a while to actually bond with him. It took me like a, like a few months. Because yeah. I was like... You were like... You were like... Yeah. Uh, in the water. Yeah. I just... Uh, I, it took me... It took me a, a while to really feel the uh, like intensity. Yeah. And the thing is the too... like mother, they, child. They put him right on you. But literally 15 to 20 seconds later, he was gone. And, it was only, and then he was, was gone for like three hours. I mean, That's they, like the first, time. yeah, the first thing, they, they, they did put him on you, which was great and all, mm -hmm. but you were like, uh, uh, and then he was gone. Yeah. And then he was gone. Yeah. You haven't ba barely let her go since she's been born. Yeah. Look how calm she is. Look how awesome that is. I know. It's crazy. It's a whole different ball of wax, man. No, it just made me really grateful for this. Really. It's I didn't think so when you were screaming for a moment there. She didn't but scream. Only for she a was, moment. She was just trying to figure out how to get the baby out of that. How to avoid that thing she feared. But she won't fear it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Next time. <laughs> and I didn't tear this time. I was like, such a nice yell. I can't believe I didn't tear. It's so amazing to me. She 